So we have some decent shots available. could technically blow all your cover right now but if I move he will get a shot so I'm gonna have to do it without moving yep let's do it Bombs away. there we go they've all lost their cover Okay, I want to want Ginta to get some kills, so I'm gonna send him in. You take the shot. Moving on target location. Seventy-three. That's decent. And you got yourself a kill. I'm running low on ammo. Yes, you are. Too far away? No, it can't be. It can't be too far away. Yeah, 63. Take the shot. And it's good. Enemy down. Looks like something over here. Oh, free action. Sweet. Um, I'll reload. Let's do this. And uh, I don't know if I want to move. I think I should because I'm way too far away. And it's costing me. Moving. Yeah, our shots are pretty bad. They're like 63%. That's pretty bad. I need to get closer. I need that range. All right, let's get that loot. First things first, loot. Position confirmed. Objective in range. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed it's a access repeater. point. Not good. I don't like those. Got something new. At least not the low level ones. The high level ones maybe. All right, I'm going to stay here because this is the last guy I have. I'm going to reload. It's just... I'm ready. I don't want to chance it. All right. Let's go hack that terminal thingy. Can I do it from here? I can see it from here. Can I do it from here? That's the question. Heading out. Yes, we can hack it from here. Awesome. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't hack this turn. Because I can always do it next turn. Because now I just want to reload and get ready. Yeah, I'm just going to reload. Because I can in. definitely hack next turn. And in fact... I might want to go back up to cover because uh, once we get this then the enemy will come to us because we're gonna be pulling them to us I'm gonna go back up there and I'm going to bring my guys back kind of back ish moving out Affirmative. covering now Ready to engage. Moving to Overwatch. Menace 1 5, the Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Yes, we know that. We know that. Alright, we'll take our time because 
we got this okay we got this all right so i'm going to overwatch on the sniper i am going to hack on that thing bypassing security so we got this small cache of intel if you please got it That went well. Piece of cake. Menace one five. Confirm successful acquisition of the advent data. Be aware. Hostile forces are inbound on your position. Now we know Eliminate where they are. Position and any reinforcing troops. Now we know where they are. We can prep. So our sniper is already on Overwatch. And since once they land, they are in Heading really bad positioning. So I'm going to get close. I'm going to Overwatch Heading right up. here. Send my guys right here. There now. Super close. We'll overwatch. When they land and make a move, overwatch. we will spank them right there. Alright, so this guy's a little far away. Might not be doing uh, the same thing. I might want to get those reinforcements. It could be a good thing to have. I might want to, so I might not want to nail them all in one hit. Alright, so let's come down here. On my way. And we should be good. So we'll take three shots on the reinforcements as they as they show up. Here we go. Oh my god. They have stun lancers on mission two. Holy shit. Well, that's new. I've never seen that before. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional. All right, sniper, take that shot, man. They're moving around the side. Why is my sniper not Enemy's shooting? Down. God damn. Well, my sniper sucks. He did not take that shot. All right, so there's a risk we get. We could get hit here. I can't flank him. I'm out of grenades. Well, with one of those guys. This might be rough. This is pretty rough considering I, I've never I've never seen stun lancers on the second freaking mission. It's just never happened. I've never seen that happen before. I mean it's flawless right now, but it looks like I'm only gonna be able to kill one guy. And that guy is going to take a hit on us. That is not good. It is not good. So we're out of grenades. Oh, I do have one left. I don't know if my sniper can get a better shot without cover. Let's see. If he has no cover, it'll be an 85% shot. So yes, it will be a better shot. Alright, so we have two ways to do this. If Gunners hits and our specialist finishes him off, 
then we can focus on that last guy. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Alright, so we're going to have to go to low cover. Position confirmed. You gotta hit it, man. If you crit, that would be awesome. Oh, fuck. You missed. Oh, 87% miss, gunners. Why, gunners? Why? Hey, what's up, Reggie and uh, Dev Vortex? How's it going, guys? This stream is going fine, right? I mean, it looks fine to me. Yeah, well, then again, I'm not the one viewing it, so I know my upstream is fine. So, yeah, we're going to have a problem here. We're going to have a really big problem here. We missed an 87% shot. That is pretty big. I could swing here and take a shot. Yeah, it's just not good. Ginter doesn't have good shots because he's got a regular assault rifle and not good. They are not good shots. I can take a 65 with 0% crit chance. And that sucks. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take him out this turn. So... Yeah, we're going to have to take one stun that's a hit. Which fucking sucks. Alright, we'll at least make him run for it, right? We'll at least make him come. Moving to designated coordinates. It's a 100% shot. You might crit. That went well. Okay, no there is still right. hope. There is still hope. If Ginta blows cover, I don't know if we can blow off the door, but I, I hope we can. I come by. Copy. On I blow that door open. Sniper takes a shot with no cover. This might work, but the door has to be gone. All right, let's do this. Take this. Come on, cover. Get blown. Yes, the door is gone. No cover. It's an 85 shot. We have a 40% chance to crit now. So we cleared it up for the sniper. Now we've missed an 87 shot this turn. So, we cannot guarantee anything anymore. Okay, Hiri, it's on you. Whether it's flawless or not, it's on you. Beautifully done. Flawless, mission two. Hostile neutralized. All right, so we made it flawless, mission one. We made it flawless on mission two. Oh, hey, hang on there. We're not done. There's another pod. Wow, that's incredible. I thought we were done. Well, now the downside is we have one grenade left. And apparently we're not done yet. There's another pod out there. So rather than get all crazy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna call for more reinforcements so we can get more XP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here. Heading there now. 
And we're gonna call for reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements. Infiltrating their system. We're gonna intentionally fail this damn thing and have a bunch of reinforcements called on us. Alright, so we take the hard one, which is 13% chance of success. And failure will call an enemy reinforcement pod. So it's it's flawless for now, but I'm greedy. I want an XP. Let's bring him in. Alright. Let's see, where are the reinforcements gonna be? Can't get this one. They're bringing in reinforcements. Alright, over here. Nice, nice. So I think I'm in visibility of that spot. So I can just overwatch and it should be a good one. Alright, everybody is going to get closer. It's still too far away, but moving to position. We are going to get closer. Come and get some. Moving. I'm on it. Here we go. All right, this is good. This is good. It's just regular soldiers, not stun lancers. No insanity here. Just an officer and two two, two soldiers. It's good. It's good. Beautiful shot. Sniper missed. But the shotgun did not. Wonderful. Enemy down. This is good. I like the position we're in right now. It is great. I got a 91 shot on this dude. I'm gonna take it. It's a 91 shot. Make it count, bro. Woo! Fury is on fire! Got him. On fire! Alright, I'm gonna send Ginta to get some kills because he is our top killer right now. I mean, technically, he has the most kills. We're gonna send him in to a position to flank. And if he gets some luck, it will be a kill. Awesome sauce. Alright, so there's one more pod besides this one. We have done superbly. Rock and roll. I'm gonna chill here. And reload up. We're Rock not even gonna roll. move because there's a risk of that last pod messing with us. Back in! Moving to Overwatch! All right, so there is one pod left. We have no freaking idea where it is. We've killed, uh, we've killed four pods already. So this is a world record, I think. Nobody, I think, in their right mind would fight five pods in mission two. Even on legendary Iron Man, I don't think anybody in the freaking world would have fought and beaten five pods on mission two. This must be a first ever. Because it's the first time I've ever seen this happen. Roger that. Pod number five. Where are you? We're coming for Back you. Online. So. We've, we've gone through this building. They might be on this side. Like we've never really explored the eastern side of the map. So they could well be over there. So, this is crazy. We have killed four pods and we're still flawless. And we're going for a fifth pod because there is one more pod left on the map. We're gonna take it easy, of course. Slow, careful advances, preferably into high cover. Because shit could go wrong, right? Scanning. We're gonna clump as much as we can. Heading to that location. Ah, there we go. We found him. We found the pod. And that epically missed. K 
can we make it out of this pod unhurt? Alright, so Sniper is too far away to take a, a watch shot. Too far. Just way too far. We can, however, take a regular shot at 49%. And that's not bad. Shall we take it? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Not the worst shot I've seen. Nope, no can do. Shot failed to connect. So we got some options. Oh, free action! Sweet! Oh, I'm not, I'm not liking that hair trigger shit right now, man. I'm liking that shit. <laughs> Alright, let's now take another shot. This time, bingo. Come on, come on. Yeah! 249 shots make a 99 shot. Target disabled. No, not really. But... <laughs> it's still 249 shots but that was not bad at all now we've got three guys we've got one grenade if I'm in full cover I am I am not not unhappy but not all my guys are going to be in full cover what's the play here now we can use a grenade to pop that cover but it's only going to blow the uh, three, I think. It's going to keep that. So I think we don't try for the sectoid this turn. A 48 shot is clearly not bad. It's pretty decent. We'll take the 48 shot. Gunter might get him. He might. Let's not waste that last grenade. Or should we? Should we? Should we leave... The sectoid on his own. Because sectoid, good chance he's gonna do some shit like reanimation or something along those lines. And if he does do that, we're good. Well, let's see if our grenade. No, no, grenade, not gonna do it. Then again, I can run and grenade. I could run and grenade. Hang on, I could also run and grenade the sectoid. And that might be a better way to end things. Run here, grenade sectoid. Have grenadier run up, take a good shot. Ah, uh, risky, risky plays. Risky, risky plays. What do we do now? Yeah, let's let that thingy take a shot. It's never... It's never too good. It's never that strong anyway. The best they can do is 4 points of damage. And we can tank 4 points. Even on a crit. So. I'm gonna send him up. Wanna go, we're gonna go for the sectoid. Maybe. Oh, we got a flank. God damn, that was a flank shot. Alright, let's take it. It's a decent shot. And he misses, of course he does. Shot wide. No worries, no worries. We'll have Ginta. I think get a bit closer. Yeah, let's get closer. And we have another flank shot. Huh. It's 50 here and 68 there. Alright, let's take the 68 shot. Ah, oh, man, I should have. I should have blown cover. That would have made all the difference. So now I'm going to run in full cover. I think one of my guys is going to get hit, man. We're, we're going to get hit. It's unavoidable, I think. Yeah, I'm going to run up here. We're out of I'm needs. We have one on the one on the, um, sh uh, the the ranger, but I mean that is that is it, right? All right, we'll take this shot. It's a forty-eight shot. We might be able to nail that. Come on, come on! Oh fuck! All oh, that missing is not good. 
Shot failed to connect. All right, all right, all right. We got this. All right, so he can take a 68 shot, or I can take a 50 shot. But a 50 shot will eliminate him from firing. If we take the 68, there's no way we can kill him this turn anyway. There is no way. If we kill this guy now, we eliminate him from the equation. So I'm going to go for this shot. I mean, we missed two times on him already, but I guess third time's a charm. Let's do it. Come on. Yes. All right. So we only have a sector to worry about. And if he, all he does is reanimate, we're gold. Reanimate, reanimate, reanimate. Yes, we're gold. We are golden. Boys, you have seen this here first. For the dead. Five the pods on mission two. Flawless. Yeah. Well, soon to be flawless. Soon to be flawless. So I can stand here, pop him, or I can grenade his cover. These both things might work. So in case shit goes down the room, I mean, shit hits the fan, I probably want a better position to run to. Well, what's my slashing like? Six to eight. 88% 6 to 8. That's actually pretty good. The thing with the, the Ranger is that they do so much damage up close that using grenades, I mean, to enable everyone else, then you don't get the explosive power of the Ranger. That's the issue. Now, let's see. Ginta has no grenade. He has a shot on this. I mean, if I get greedy, I could always shoot this guy first, but... That means a sectoid is gonna mess with us, so I'm not gonna risk that. Not this not this time. I can run up close. The problem with the grenadiers is that they have horrible shot percentages. So even a clear shot might not go down well. And Gunners has an 88 slash percentage. So I got a bad shot here. Unless I pop cover. Well, we have one grenade left. So it's really not an option. Unless everybody else hits their poor percentage shots on the sectoid, we can't kill him this turn. So we'll have to do the safe play, which is run forward, drop the grenade, blow cover. Roger that and then have everybody else enabled to take good shots. Yeah, so I feel like, like so tempting, right? So tempting, 88, 6 to 8 damage. So tempting, but we're gonna have to do the safe play. Yeah, we're gonna have to make sure cover is blown. Like you see, if you put it wrongly, only the tree gets blown. If you blow this, I think it completely goes, yeah. Right, we gotta pop cover. What's the tree doing there? Okay, it's gone, it's gone. So we have a 71 shot, that's still not very good. All right, we'll get the sniper to shoot it. You get the first try. Come on, Hiri, make it happen. Oh, nicely done. All right, boys, you have seen history made. We killed five full pods on mission two and we killed two stun Status lancers. All hostiles are down and the area is and it's flawless. Status confirmed. Mission Look at that, dude. 15 enemies. 15 enemies on mission two. Unbelievable. And we killed two stun lancers. Stun lancers usually don't show up until mission five. How are we even fighting stun lancers on mission two? This is fucking insane. Wow! Damn, I'm hyped! We are going down in history, man.
campaign number 69 is the campaign where we go all the way. Two flawless missions. We killed so many guys. 15 guys on mission 2. Unbelievable. And nobody got hit. That is another unbelievable thing. Nobody got hit. Crazy. Crazy. Our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. Awesome too. Couple of them promoted to corporals. Maybe on mission three we can get them promoted to sergeant. Or at least one guy promoted to sergeant. We've been feeding kills to Ginta and Psycho Lee. Hyuri. So we do I need like four kills, three to four kills, I think. On Gunther to get it, or five kills on Psycho Lee. We might be able to do this. Long watch. Phantom. Combat protocol. So you know this this decision has always been the, the hardest one to make. Combat protocol is guaranteed damage. Medical protocol is healing and remote heal ability. It's like. They're both so good. They're both so good. But on Legendary, Combat Protocol means you can guarantee damage. And sometimes missing that 90% shot, you know, it's just not an option. You can't miss those shots because your team gets wiped. So Combat Protocol does that guaranteed 2 points of damage. And that is sometimes just what you need. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. That's just exactly what you need. And then other times, you get hit and you want heals and you don't have them so man it's just a really tough choice they're both so good i wish i could have both of them but we can't but on legendary i will have to go with combat protocol i would have to because the guaranteed kill means that you don't have to take damage you don't have to take hits sometimes that is better sometimes not all the time but sometimes And now we have a repeater. This is insane. Look at that. Stun Lancers on Mission 2. They usually come in Mission 5. At earliest, Mission 4. Usually, it's Mission 5. We get them on Mission 2. This is impossible. All right, bald Hello. man. Commander, the council you once knew is no more. All right, let's skip that because we've seen that before. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Also, I've done an outstanding job leading the resistance. Also, Commander. our first reward was an engineer, so that just that just so strong. It is just so strong, incredibly strong. So we're in a very very good position right now. I have to hand it to him. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. So let's speed up the construction to 12 days. Supply drops in 15. Usually mission 4 is just around the supply drop timeline, usually either a couple of days before or after. So this will manage to beat the timeline if we want to. Only if mission 3 goes well. And then I want this done before the supply drop. So the thing is with Guerrilla Tactics School is that it cost you it costs you supplies and upkeep. Every month it'll cost you something if it's built. So if we have a sergeant, then yes, I want this before the supply drop. Because then I can use it on the the final mission. I mean the the, the, the retaliation mission. But if we don't have a sergeant by mission three, then I will move my engineer to do something else. Because by doing so. I free up money because then the supply drop will be bigger and then I complete the Guerrilla Tactics School after the supply drop and reduce the upkeep that I have to pay. Yeah, so tactics here. We gotta do this right. 
local resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will Locator need to make contact with their network Let's first. Let's do it. This is only the beginning, Commander. Your this is great. Leadership will be a we have two flawless missions, and Commander, we are getting our DLC items. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator. Before vehicle. mission it's three, definitely one of ours. It's going from to be the original awesome. invasion. I know it sounds crazy, but if there's any chance, some of our. All right, so we've done the research. Added. The advent offices have clearly been modified now to allow the advanced warfare center. Psionically, the implanted chip is the key. Hmm. Magnetic weapons. I think high uh, resistance comms is the solution. Yeah, let's do this. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Okay. Supply drops in 10 days. Really don't know about this, but um, it's going to be tight. We'll see. You and I both know All we right. had one other Sky Ranger. Now we have the fancy it's weapons. It's worse for wear, but this heap used to be Big Sky's pride and joy. And someone's been putting her to work. Maybe These items are so strong. Exactly where they took off from, but... They're so strong, but so Commander, vulnerable. These weapons are unlike any design I have previously encountered before. If you lose them, I could we attempt get into further trouble. analysis, but the likelihood of us reverse engineering them appears low, regardless. Remember what Tigan said: these new weapons are one of a kind. If we leave them on the battlefield, they'll be lost to us forever. Mm-hmm. I know that. Avenger plotting And I've done course. that several times, and that cost me the entire campaign. Mission tree. Here we go. Now I hate this mission. I hate this so much. Mission tree has always been the bane of my existence. It's timed mission. Anybody who doesn't make the exit gets left behind. There's so many times where we've blown this up. Yeah. This is one hard mission. But uh, we have to do it. We need that scientist. And we can't fail it too. Huge risk there. We gotta make it work. You know what I just realized? That we're gonna need 150 supplies to get that upgrade. And there's no way we're gonna be able to do that. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to get the 150 supplies without the uh, turn, I mean, without the month ending. So there's basically no chance 
we can go into the retaliation mission with five guys. There's just no chance. It's just not possible. We just don't have the people to do this. 